We all have to take medicines at some point in our lives, whether it is that life-saving cancer treatment or the vitamins you take daily, the most preferred way of taking your medicine is to take it orally. Now, when you swallow a medicine in the form of a pill or a capsule, the first thing that should happen is that it should dissolve in your stomach fluids. And once it's dissolved in the stomach, it should be able to cross your stomach membranes and get into your bloodstream. Unfortunately, about 90% of medicines currently being developed cannot dissolve in the stomach fluids, which means, for example, they'll have to be given as injections. But just like this woman over here, we all do not like injections. And so there must be ways to increase the ability of these compounds to dissolve in the stomach fluids so that we can make them into oral dosage forms. Now, all these pills and capsules, they are made from powders. And the typical powder is crystalline. That simply means the individual molecules that make up the powder, they have very nice ordered arrangement. We can convert that crystalline powder, which does not dissolve, to the amorphous powder, where you can see that the individual molecules are disordered. The amorphous powder can dissolve in the stomach fluids. And that's what we are looking for. But it is so unstable. And so to stabilize it, we need to add additional substances called polymers. And the job of the polymer is to prevent the amorphous form from returning to the crystalline state. And so it's important for scientists to understand the mechanisms by which these polymers will actually stabilize the amorphous drug. And that is the focus of my thesis. So we are going with one hypothesis, that when you form the mixture, the polymer should interact with the drug. But as to exactly how strong that interaction should be, it's very difficult to determine. And so what we do is we use very advanced techniques to try and measure and figure out exactly how strong that interaction between the drug and the polymer should be so that we can form a stable mixture that can dissolve in the stomach fluids. So the ultimate goal is we want to be able to make many more oral dosage forms so that we can have many more happy patients like that man over there. <laughs> Thank you.